Yo, Sheetsters! Sheetsters! There's a new Sheetster in town. One in the belly. Surprise, surprise. One up the muff. Someone got it up the duff. Yeah, the motherfucker over here. <laughs> <laughs> so the cow is pregnant. Oh, the cow. <laughs> The, the, the mother cow is pregnant with the baby. Yeah, the calf. Guys, we just want to let you know, for three pounds a month, you can sign up to our Patreon. Yeah. And if we get some good benefits, if you What do, are the benefits, Luke? First of all, you get a public episode early. Yeah? How early? You get, you get it on a Sunday. Everybody else gets it on a Tuesday. Yeah, the So slackers. you're laughing along Monday morning if you want. On the way to work, you're getting the laugh. You're the Japanese getting the bullet train. While we're all getting Southeastern and Hoda. getting mugged off. Hoda. Yeah? Hoda. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> It can settle down. <laughs> if you, you, know, you know the joke if you be listening. We got other tiers in there as well that you can check out, but all the goodies are there. What else do we get, Luke? You get a Patreon exclusive episode every Thursday. Every Thursday. A Patreon? A Patreon exclusive So episode. an extra just, episode just, that no one just, else gets to see. Just for the Patreon. A more personal episode. Yeah, because they they deserve it. Yeah, you do. You do. The Patreonies yeah. deserve it. And for three pounds a month, it's three pounds, isn't it? That's correct. Right. Because like obviously, you said like you didn't know the three. Because I always is that, get is, that, is that how cheap it yeah, is? Yeah, but I always get shocked because I'm I'm like mm, we need to raise that. <laughs> but okay, get in while you can. Because uh, obviously now I need like money for um, baby milk and nappies. Oh whoa, 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 whoa. the milk comes for free. Why? Charlotte's teas. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't know. I'm gonna have to send her back to work because this ain't paying off. <laughs> At least I'm in the fridge for me. Yeah, I'll handle the sheets. We're stuff. talking about getting one of them fake man titties for Would me. Would you wear one of those? Yeah. Would you wear, would you wear a fake not, man non, titty? Non public. At home. I'll can bring you, it out. I'll be can, like, you, can you imagine me looking through the window? <laughs> you know, be like, can I borrow that place? <laughs> yeah, no, if no, you wouldn't try. Uh, would you, where we're digressing. Yeah, we are digressing. Uh, listen, There's more sounds, important things to talk yeah, about. Yeah, right shout now. out to the Patreon, guys. Sign up to Patreon, motherfuckers. Let's crack on with the episode. <laughs> you bitch all the time. All the time you bitch about him. How does that help you get ahead? It's just fun to have a bitch every now and then. Okay, so let's get down to the nitty gritty of it. You f you do bitch. So why are you better than these egotistical males? You're simplest... not the alpha. I want to know how you're the alpha male. Sorry, that's what this question was. How are you the alpha male? Well, you haven't given me any situation we're in. So I don't know what, what's going on here. All right, okay. Emerg emerg emergencies happen. Uh, 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 <clears throat> so there's this guy giving us evils across the room. Oh, uh, and where are we? In the bar. Right. What happened? How'd you handle it? He comes up, he comes up to you and goes, What the fuck are you looking at, brown boy? What colour is he? Chinese. Yeah. I'm not doing it. I'm not gonna make it easy for you. I'm not doing it. I'm not gonna make it easy for you by saying a white guy. Oh, is he Chinese? They can't handle it. Is it no no no? Be honest. What would you do? He's Chinese. Huh? Oh yeah! Welcome back to Luke and Pete Talking Sheet. Here to tickle your muffs from up the duffs. Yeah, I don't know what that means, but yeah. Because Charlotte's pregnant and all we're, that. We're back in the building. We're back here, ready to go. Another episode smashed out. So you got the goodies last week. You found out the news. Yeah, you did. News at 10, Trevor McDonald style. Luke's been keeping it quiet for the past six months. Yeah, and he's been, I don't like keeping secrets, but I had to. Okay. No, you, you don't like keeping secrets. But we found out Charlotte was pretty pissed off. <laughs> Charlotte pretty pissed off. Do you remember like how we found out? How did we, what do you mean when we were sitting here? Yeah. We were sitting in these chairs. And she was pissed off. Why was she pissed off? Because like I'd said something about her um, like pals on the podcast. And she was like, oh, you fucking. She went. Oh, yeah. I was like, you would never have cared about that before. Yeah. And then she came back and she was like having a go at me on the phone. She was like, yeah, yeah. Well, the reason I'm angry is because I'm pregnant. Um, oh, my <laughs> God. Why is anyone concerned? Talk to me about this no. first. <laughs> and I don't know if she knew that you were there, but Luke was there like. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And then, and then, yeah, we found out we're having a kid. Yeah. We found out me and Luke were pregnant. Mm. Finally. Yeah. We've been trying for a year. Yeah. We've been working it out, rubbing our dicks together. <laughs> Why is it this working? <laughs> yeah, we find <laughs> out a kid's. How do you feel, Pete? You're gonna be a dad, man. Um, Has it sank in yet? 
who's your daddy? It feels like who's like I can say who's your daddy and be like, oh, that's f- real actually now. It it sinks in when. I- wow, wow, you're gonna be a dad, and all you think about is insulting people. That's who's not- your daddy? Who's your daddy? What no. do you mean? That's, that's an insult. No, it's not. It's a it's a good thing. Who's your daddy? Me. What do you mean? If you say that to someone else, when do you say who's your daddy? When you beat someone in a computer game? No, you say it during sex. You. <laughs> When you do say you to, say it? You say to I say it when I play the computer game. You, you say who's your daddy? What you said you said to men? Yeah, you said to men who's your daddy? I'm I'm your father. No, <laughs> no one says I'm your father. You fucking idiot. <laughs> I, I do. No, I no. Say, who's your daddy? Maybe I've got that wrong, but what I thought that was what, a sex what, thing. What, what? Why would sex be involved to be your daddy? When do people use that phrase? Who's your daddy? When I'm when I'm beating someone. Oh, who's your daddy? Huh? Yeah, you're my beating stick. I get you a whooping, boy. That's the taking the piss thing. I'm talking about when you're in the bedroom. You're like, hey, who's your daddy? <laughs> you, you say to Charlotte. Well, hold on. Who's your daddy? Am I wrong here? Have I been using this whole phrase? One second. One second. You're, why is it? Why is that sexual? Women love a daddy. Women love like, oh, he's daddy. Well, fucking them. What do you do? What do you do, smarty pants? With who? With women. What do you say to them then? In a sexual daddy way? You whore. <laughs> I had to talk day. No, I, 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 I make the repeat after me. Repeat after me. You filthy whore. That's what I like. And then we, and they, they say, yeah, I'm your whore. And they say, I'm, 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 no, 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 no. Sometimes people get a bit offended and they correct you. I am your whore. Yes. Uh, I'm, and I'm like, you're a whore. Yeah, I'm, I'm your whore. Yeah. I'm like, yeah sometimes I'm, it goes too far and you're like, okay, have some self-respect. <laughs> no, no, I'm living like that. Go worse. I like, yeah. I, no. I, I don't like it when they, they turn to try and thing you. Like, 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 you, you like. Box like, you in. I, I, no, I tell you, you like dick, don't you? Like, no, I like your dick. Oh. You've earned it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You like everyone. It's too PC now. It's too PC. Yeah, I like whore. But then afterwards you can just clarify. You didn't mean what you said during no, let's not go too far into this. You you do just like my penis, correct? <laughs> correct. So, tick this box here. Just yeah, like mine. Yeah. yeah. You have to clear because you need uh, everyone's ego get, needs to get checked once in a while. What do you like, mean? Like you need to r- double check. Can I just double check about what? what you said back there in the bedroom? That doesn't clarify. I was just dirty talk. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, I, but I, I don't. I don't mind. I don't. I'm, I like. I like. I said. I like to be. I like. That's the one place I would like to be put down in. Put down. Uh, you know, one thing I do like to be put, I like to be told my penis is, my dick is big when I'm having sex. I like, I like to be told that. I like to, I like to hear that. That makes me, that turns me on. Yeah, that funny. would make me feel uncomfortable. Would it? Why? Yeah, because I'd, I'd be like, well, you're lying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, listen, let's, let's not, oh, is it purple as well? <laughs> Fuck me. Let's, uh, why why, why, why purple? Why, yeah, yeah. We're just throwing everything in there. Let's throw everything in yeah, there. Yeah, I know, but sometimes I can tell, I can tell you're lying now. You're just saying things to please yeah, me. Yeah, I've, I've and now a, that's a turn off. I've had a woman say she's all like, like oh, you're going to make me come again. I was like, you didn't come the first time. Well, how not... could you tell? Yeah, you, I can tell. Juices. Just, I can just tell. Clenching. Yeah, but you just know. Well, how can you tell then? You just know when someone's come. Well, tell me, tell me how you know. Yeah, you, you clench and leg shake. Yeah, but they can fake that. Yeah, but I know they didn't fake it. They didn't even bother faking it. Really? Sometimes they just say things to get you off. And I'm like, this is, let's just stop now. Yeah, but so I like to ask Charlotte, oh, did you... And she go, yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, I couldn't tell that time. Okay, all right. Well, you but know then what? some women, like, they, they'll come and, like, the, f- the leg will go like that, start cherrying. Like a pissing dog. Yeah, a like, ger- dog. G- shaking. Yeah. And you're like, okay, that's a bit extra. That's a bit extra. Mm. Um, And then I've had some women, like, a fire hydrant. Mm. And, like, completely soaked the bed. Hold on one second, though. Let's, let's, let's get this right. Yeah. One second. What's the, who's your daddy? Does, does Charlotte respond? I don't ask Charlotte that. But you if, know, no, you said you did. You said, who's your daddy? I think I've done it once. Okay. Did she and respond? I regretted it. Did she respond? Because I know her daddy. So it was a bit like, okay, why did I say that? <laughs> that would be no. funny if he came in. That would be me. Thank you very much. I'm her daddy. <laughs> yeah. what, what, what did she say? What did she respond? Can't remember. Oh. At the time. How convenient. Trying so what, what, you said it to other women? No, I think she probably said you. Not you. <laughs> Me, who's well, your daddy? Luke, <laughs> Luke's my daddy. <laughs> what would you do if she said that? Oh, well, would that Luke. throw you off? Would that throw you off? I'd be like, whoa, get off me! What did you just say? Let's rewind a bit. Go and drink some cold water and refresh yourself. <laughs> cold, cold. 
<laughs> go and drink some cold Wait, water. Wait, splash some cold water on your go, face yeah, and yeah, wake yeah, yourself yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's cut that out now. <laughs> the podcast is finished. <laughs> this is Luke and Pete <laughs> fucking my bitch. <laughs> <laughs> fucking my bitch. Uh, no, no, no. No. All right, cool. All right, today we want to talk about infidelity. Infidelity. Yeah. Which basically means when when you uh, is that when you can't when a man can't what get a woman pregnant? No. Oh, that's infertility. 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 No, no, infidelity is infidelity when is... a man is uh, not a man. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, my yeah. go when some when cheating. cheating, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Cheating. cheating, cheating. How do you feel about infidelity? We, we, we've skirted around it. We've skirted around it. We never had a whole uh, subject. Can, should we be honest or should we like hold back a bit? No, let's be honest. Well, but I think it's disgusting when a woman cheats. Yeah, so do I. Because I think it's very clear in nowadays times where uh, a woman will go out and say, oh, the man cheated, only men cheat. And I'm like, no, no, women cheat. And the ones that do are filth as well. Yeah. Do you know they say... Eight, and the men there. who do it are filth, but like... Okay, all right. Do you want to let me fucking speak? Sorry, go on. Jesus Christ. You calm yourself down. No, calm yourself down. Don't, you <laughs> you calm yourself. Interrupt me. I was speaking. I know, but you swore. <laughs> don't swear at me. <laughs> no, what I was going to say to you... Who's eight, your daddy? <laughs> what I was going to say to you, 85... 85% of... They've done, a, they've done a survey on a dating website, yeah? Yeah. On like the cheating one, it's called undercover lovers. Yeah, right. Eighty five percent of men never get have never been discovered cheating, and ninety five percent of women have been discovered have not been discovered. No, they definitely ninety five percent. So five percent haven't been discovered. <laughs> yeah, bro. see, that means that makes me think they're good liars. Yeah, women are a bit of liars. That what, that's what that makes women me think. And I think men don't suspect it from women, but women. Women are thingy, man. But I look at some women and like, I'll see them out and I'll be like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. She's, she seems up for it with people. And then, I'll, um, you know, I'll hear someone talking to her and then she's like, oh no, I'm in a relationship. And I'm like, you were throwing it about willy nilly over there and you're in a relationship. Mm. And then there's other videos on the internet where like the man is um, questioning a woman. There was one video on the internet where the man was questioning his woman. He's like, oh, but you were texting your guy friend there and I saw over your shoulder and you covered the phone. Oh, and she leaves, she's leaving, she's like, to leave. I've got to walk the dog. I've got to walk, let me see your phone, let me see, let me see your phone. Let me see your phone. I feel, I feel she's harassed. Like, I feel har yeah. I'm going to call the police. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, sorry, I'm going to call my sister. He's like, let me just see, let me, let me just see. She's like, I feel like my life's in danger. Yeah. He's like, I'm not going to do anything to you. Yeah, I know. Just show him the show him the message. She didn't want to. Yeah, because she's cheating. But what women would say is, she shouldn't have to show you her phone if she doesn't want to. Mm. And it's like, no, shut up. Just show her the fucking phone. What do you, like what, if it was a man, you'd want him to show what, the phone. What do you, do you think, do you think it's wrong if a man or a woman wants to go through their partner's phone if they suspect them of cheating? Or do you think they should have to respect their privacy? You shouldn't need to go through my phone, right? Because I actually don't cheat. Yeah. So feel free. One second, you, you just contradict yourself. So you said you shouldn't have to go through your phone, but feel free. So should they? I'm going to provide the guilt trip first. Okay, so you're going so to you, you, build them up, top deck, let them jump off the cliff. Uh, yeah, uh, so I'll build them up as if I have been. What, cheating? I'll be like, oh, 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 no, 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 no. Don't check my phone. And then when it comes to it, check the phone. Yeah, and you look, and at, then, them, you look at them watching. Yeah, and then when it comes out, oh... But um, it's I've done it before like that, and it's backfired. Why, does he see something? She's, she's, no, she's been like, oh... Oh, you've obviously deleted it then. And I'm like, no, no, I didn't delete it. I was actually doing it to try and prove a point. And she's like, no, you're only saying that now because you've offered what, the phone. What, what, why did you think you deleted it if you'd handed it to her? Because in the beginning, I was like, oh, I'm going to play it. Like, oh, oh, no, don't check. Well, what, what, what did you get? Left, acted. Did you, what, did you get left alone of your phone for a minute? What? Did you get left alone of your phone for a minute? N no, no, no. She was like, she could see me what I was doing, but she thought I deleted it anyway. How? If you were right in front of her. I know. But she thought, oh, we must have deleted it another time. And because I, I created the confusion by acting like, oh, I'm going to I'm gonna do this because you've created this. But then that woman that did do that and she walked out mm -hmm. and she walked out and she was like, oh, I'm going to my sister's house. She definitely cheated. 100%. And she looked like the type. I didn't see. I thought her face was blurred. Uh, uh, no, 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 it wasn't blurred in my one. <laughs> if you go on Twitter, you can see the official face. Oh, really? Yeah. And it's like Botox and all that. 
No, really. And I thought, oh, well, you seem to really care about your appearance, and obviously, w- women are a lot more sexually liberal nowadays. As so, it's I feel like I think that's because times have changed, though. Yeah. Back in the day, you didn't see women swinging it around the place, did you? No, you didn't. No, no, no. no f- They're getting a bit too big for the boots. Let me, <laughs> oh, oh, let, me, let, me let me tell you this. It's going the other way now. I told you, I, I, I was in the um, Apple store. This was years ago, yeah? Yeah. I was in the Apple store and this woman, she was just staring at me, yeah? Yeah. Quite an attractive woman in gym gear, yeah. staring at me, yeah? Mom, I, I think I was with you. No, he wasn't. Oh, that must have been another woman staring. Oh, was it? Yeah, I think I told you as well. Oh yeah, I think you did. Yeah, and that was another woman. That was another woman in gym gear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is another, Maybe there's I, I a correlation with that. And then I, I mean, she, I came out and she was just staring at me. I was like, "Oh, you're right." She's like, "Yeah, we got talking, exchanged numbers, and that." Yeah. Yeah. So we're talking, um, me- we're messaging, whatever we're talking. Yeah. Then she goes, um, she was, she had a work do up in like I think it was Nottingham. Right. Yeah. Yeah. She was like, "Yeah, you're gonna come up. You're gonna come up." To yeah. meet her work yeah, people. Yeah. No, not to meet her work people. Like, I've got a hotel. You want to come up? Uh, but you're not you're not getting anything. So I was like, oh, right. I'm, I'm, what, what do you want to play chess in the hotel? Yeah, I'm, I'm not make no. But me, stupid. I'm young, stupid. I'm like, oh, nah, I'm all right then. I'm all right. She's like, and then she go, oh, you just wanted you just wanted to come up here to to have sex with me. And that's it. If you're not if you're not getting oh, sex, oh, she was laying the test. Yes, she laid a test. And on if me. you'd gone up there, she would have been like, oh, my neck has fell off. Yeah, what yeah. The and then, we, we, we and then you would have had. I'm so stupid. I was young. I was stupid. I How old were you? I don't know. I don't want to. That's up. Uh, <laughs> it's up in that day. Yeah. Yeah. But <laughs> yeah. well, anyway, I didn't go. Yeah. Funny enough, my friend mm. met her somewhere else. He met her mm. at a place of work. Yeah. Mm. And he started talking to her. Now, I had already spoken to her. Yeah. yeah? I had yeah. already spoken to her. So I gave him the groundwork as that she loves this book called um, Five Something Called Love. Oh, Five Fingers of Love. Then he went, he, he brought it up to her. So, yeah, you read this book? She's like, oh my God. It's meant to be. That's my favorite book. <laughs> now this woman was a whore. Oh, <laughs> she was, God. no, I'm going to be honest. No, I'm going to be honest. He was, he was bagging it in the car every day after, <laughs> after cocktails the first night. Oh, after the book. He mentioned the book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, and it worked my bite. You know what your friend comes back and tells you? Oh, she was fucking great. Oh, she was great. It. I <laughs> oh, for God's sake. I didn't get to sample it. I didn't, <laughs> Yeah, but at least, like, you passed it on. Yeah. <laughs> but it sounds like you probably would have been good by passing that. Right, what do you mean? Well, because all it takes is to mention a book she likes, and then she sleeps with the man. Yeah, but women, that's women. Women are emotional, and if you like... They like, are emotional, but they sometimes try emotional blackmail. My God. There was a 36-year-old once so I used to work in a pub, yeah? Yeah. And she was like, oh, come on, let's, let's sleep with me, sleep with me. And I was like, nah, you're all right. But she was good looking. I thought she was good looking, but she's 36, so I was like, okay, I was 18 at the time. And then she was like, oh, come on, I've got bowel cancer. And she tried to use emotional back blackmail about she, the bowel cancer to sleep with me. Well, that's not very attractive. No, no. Have you have you seen like, have, have you seen done. have you seen have you seen that have you seen that film? Um, have, you, <laughs> have you have you seen Can't that film? Can't do anal. <laughs> uh, I can't. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> You can't watch it. You can't watch it. You can't watch it. It's too weak in there. She's like, it hurts. Yeah, because of me. No, no. Oh, that bad joke, bad joke. But listen. Oh, for God's sake. We got that, please. No, we're not. Have you seen that film, One Fight Club? Yeah. Have you seen the woman who's like, she's she's dying. She's in a group, she's dying of cancer. And she's like, if anybody. If anybody wants to come over. And oh, I'd have, have sex with yeah, me. I've got toys and stuff. But like, she was lying. She was lying. No, she wasn't. She didn't have cancer. She did. She had a bald head. Oh, oh did she? No, but that was in his head. No. Yeah. That was the woman at the... No, that was another... That was the woman who was lying. No, the woman at the thing. She's like, oh, do you want to have sex? Oh. And she's like, and he's like, I've got toys. And it makes you think, man, about like... What if? Desperation. Yeah. <sighs> when somebody... When somebody... Like... When you don't the, care anymore. No, 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 no. When you... There's a difference between not having sex and not being able to have sex. Like since I've started having sex, I've never not been able to have sex. Do you know what I mean? Like I've got a friend who who says like I haven't been with a woman since 2021. Two years. Yeah. Yeah, I've been in that situation. I think not been able to have sex for two years. Um, since I since I, I've never not. Well, I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Wow. Yeah, maybe. What does that feel like not being able to have sex? Like, 
like just not ever been able to be with a woman. Like, well, it's their loss though. It, it, if you think about it. All right. That's, that is nice. The way to put, you to put yourself to bed at night, cry, cry into your pillow, <laughs> cry into your bed. It's, it's their loss. <laughs> it's, no. I, <laughs> No. Using, your using your tears. No, 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 no. no. I, uh, no. Yeah, I think I have. I think I have been. If I'm being honest. Yeah, be honest. I'm being honest. Yeah, be honest. I'm not ashamed of it. No. Judge me. Yeah. And what, what do I say? What do you say? That is the way it happened. That's and that is way. life. That is life. That's life, baby. Now I get it every time I want it. Right? That so who, the joke's on who? That sounds a bit like. What? <laughs> Forced. No, it's not, it's not. Yeah, no but on. you know what I mean. What? You get it anytime you want it. When yeah, you're but, in a relationship. But I th you think this, this there's is some people I know that are in relationships and like their missus won't even like like she's like oh she won't um give me a blowjob ever. Yeah, okay. And I I I can't condone that. No no behavior. Th th that's a that's another reason for infidelity I, I was reading, yeah. Mm. Um 58% of women are mm. satisfied with the amount of sex they have in a relationship compared to 48% of men are satisfied with the amount of sex they're having. And that's another big... Is that Are they partners though? Is it that the 58% that's no, going no, out no, with the 48%? No, 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 no. It's just that when they, uh, then they test on women, they find out, yeah? Women, 58% of women are say, say they're satisfied and 48% of men say they're satisfied. They're satisfied with sex? Yeah. Which and is... That means 52% aren't. Compared to are not are not satisfied. No, fifty two percent are not satisfied. Yeah, and full. And full I can t I can I, I think I can tell which women are aren't satisfied because like they bang on a lot about how like oh I need it all the time I need a really big dick and stuff and like oh I need sex all the time it's like all right calm down and apparently you can tell the horny women because they got hairy arms they've got hairy arms so if you ever look at a woman's arms and they're hairy she's horny she's more horny than a non hairy armed woman. What do you mean at the time or yeah. gets horny more often? In general, she'll be more horny. There'll be more horniness. Yeah, because that's another reason for infidelity, sexual disparity. If a man wants sex or say say you've got somebody who wants sex daily yeah. and somebody wants sex weekly, yeah. the daily person is more likely to cheat. But that's because he needs sex all the time though. Yeah, but you could think about it. If you're not having sex as much as you want. Or as you need. Yeah. I you don't, don't, you, don't really... you don't need sex. No, I don't really need it ever. Mm -mm. But you want it. You need it all the time. No, no, I I like it. I don't need it. You, you, yeah, but you find it. You get frustrated when you can't. No, I'm I'm going through a sexual um, hiatus at the moment, actually. Yeah, and, and you've a lot of ups and downs. I've noticed. No, what are you talking about right now? When did the hiatus start? Four days ago. Okay, no, actually, no, 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 no. Yeah, I've been a good one. I've been good, yeah, haven't I? Yeah, you've been a good. Yeah, yeah, I think you need to stop it then. Yeah, I do. That's what I'm saying. I'm a better person when I'm horny. Yeah, and, and cut out women all together then if you yeah. get on like that. Yeah, I, I, I do feel like, I do feel like I'm a better person. I thought, this is what went through my mind. Like, I feel like we all come here with our vices, yeah? Mm. Everyone's got different ones. Some people's drink, some people's drugs. Some Because I used to look down on people with drink and drugs, yeah? Mm. And I'd be like, well, you can't control yourself. Destroying mm. your life. I look at it like that's maybe me for pussy. Like, what? like it control, like I need, like I'm weak for it. I need to be stronger. Yeah. It immobilizes you. What do you mean immobilizes me? Like it, it has an effect on you. It does. A negative effect. So what do you think it. your weakness is? Money. If you pay me, I'll probably do something. But take it. <laughs> <laughs> You say it. I don't mean like that. You say it to a man who has got problem with sex, and then you're over there like, pay me, and I'll do whatever you want. <laughs> no, didn't mean, pay me, I didn't mean, but pay me though. Like, <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. I mean, oh, no, I didn't you can't mean say it like that. You can't say it to a man no, like me. You can pay me not to do anything you can, to you. You can, you can pay your talk to. No, we're like, we're like, a, like I think be, like, Charlotte's like, why is it taking so long to film these podcasts? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I got to get a taste out of my mouth. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Bloody hell. Money. And you're very scared about ending up broke. Yeah, you're very scared about that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look around, look. <laughs> I don't want to end up like this. <laughs> I can't live like this. Oh, do you know what no. I mean? Not in a bad way. Yeah. But if I'm being honest, it's hard. 
Like we had that incident. Yeah, Charlotte, yeah, Charlotte made a joke today. What? Yeah, Charlotte made a joke today. What? Yeah, we had that incident that happened today. Go on, what are you gonna say? Do you wanna talk about it now? No. No, but we'll talk about it on another episode. We'll talk about another episode. Right, but cool. the people that came out of the woodwork. Mm. I can't deal with those people, man. Yeah, I do They're does, just they're just like Sometimes I do wonder. It's like ground zero. That's what I'm talking about. I feel like I feel like to explain to these guys because they don't know. So we had there was a kid. We're not going to talk about it now. We'll we'll let you know, but we'll talk about it on the Patreon probably. Um, there was a kid that had a bike accident. He was on his brother's bike, and he are, was, you, are, are you going to talk about it? You might as well talk about it because there's no point. What are you going to do? Talk about it here and then say what on thingy on our episode? It's too long to talk about now. But there was a, a basically an incident happened outside. Everybody came out and was crowding around. Everyone. And then there's this guy is coming out and he was he was he was seemed to be drunk, in, inebriated. Yeah, and he was just like trying to control it. And it's just like if everyone needs to calm down, it's just like, and people like that just wanted to get involved. I can't even remember the original point, but my point is, oh, it's like, it's obviously like people with nothing to do. Mm. Oh, fuck, I'm just like, yeah, you're, 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 you're like it's a poor area I live in. That's what he was. <laughs> That's what Pete, Pete was like. I can't no. get out of here. <laughs> Just, oh. No. <laughs> don't oh, fucking. Don't, 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 don't. don't. Someone, someone went to Pete. Excuse me. Oh. No. Yes. <laughs> yes. I don't want. No, it, no, it, no, is no. it contagious? No, it's. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm not doing this. Luke. No. No. I'm not doing I, no, no, but I, I I'm feel, not getting I involved feel, in it, bloody. I feel like, I feel like the extent to which you can control your vices. Yeah. yeah the things that make you weak. Is to the extent where you can, how high you can rise in life. I really do. I'm th- that's what's come across me. Say like, it again. The extent to which you can control your vices, you know, you know your habits, the bad habits you have. Yeah, yeah. I think that's what life is about, man. Controlling your bad habits. Yeah, because I think those are what bring you down. I think like I'm I trying think, to I think, think. I don't have any bad habits. You're lazy. You're sloth. That is you. You're lazy. Yeah, but I'm also tired from all the work I put in. It is tiring, Luke. Jesus, give me a break. The amount of work I do for you lot. Do you know what? I'm going to be honest with you. I think that's one of the reasons why you don't cheat. What? <laughs> you're just lazy. You're just, you're just, la- you're just lazy. Uh, fancy meeting me. Oh, fuck No, it. No, 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 because you can't bother to hide anything. You're very, you're an open book. You know, whatever is the path Too of much le- to think no, about. Whatever the path of leaf resistance is, that's what you want, you want to take. Yeah, the reason I don't cheat is probably because uh, I don't trust anyone as well. Mm. I don't trust myself. I don't trust anyone around me. I only trust those. <laughs> what? Fuck you then. <laughs> no, no. No, I trust you. <clears throat> but I wouldn't cheat with you. I wouldn't no, sleep all right. Okay. Oh, it didn't be that. Right, cool. yeah, but that's what you were getting at. No, no, no. You just said I don't trust anybody around me. I didn't know what you was getting at. I meant women. Okay. Around me. Mm. I know what women are like. Everyone's out to get a quick step ahead. Mm. Uh, they, someone slid into my DMs. Oh, did they? Married at first sight, UK, slipped into my DMs. Okay, all right. So, so Leave me this whole thing like, oh, Pete, uh, how about you come on Married at First Sight, UK? The program's amazing. And I was like, uh, I wouldn't have thought so. No, not me. Why would I go on that show? Why would I go on that? Trash. Everyone wants to get ahead so easily, man. Mm. It's like the quick step to success. They're ready to bloody jump at it. You, they you. took one look at my profile and probably thought, this guy will do anything for money. But I won't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I will do anything <laughs> for a buck. But, but I, I won't, won't do that. that. <laughs> Sorry, married at first sight, yeah. UK. You can't. Yeah. He's got, he's got, Pete doesn't like any of those those judging the, the, panel yeah. shows or those exactly. celebrities. Exactly. Those celebrities. Pretending shows. to me like you're trying to find me the one. Yeah? Don't pretend! How, how would that do you work? know what I don't how, like? How would that work with Charlotte? Okay, I couldn't do it with Charlotte anyway. Because you got Charlotte? Yeah, if if I went on it, I'd have to pretend that I wasn't with her. Oh, yes. Which would just be pointless. Um, but I know what they do as well with Indian guys on these shows. And this is what you're guilty of, you lot. Get it out of your little stupid producer heads. Yeah? That I Just because I'm an Indian guy, I don't need to ride into the wedding on an elephant. <laughs> but, but I, but you know what? But I, I could, but I, I do it for the fun yeah, of it. You, you would, you would. Yeah. Not but because they dress you in Indian no, garments. No, 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 not because it's traditional. But you would do it. You just like, for the extravaganza. I, I, I could imagine you rolling up outside my house in an elephant. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go! 
Come outside, boy. <laughs> Get on the back. <laughs> <laughs> And like, yeah. No, the elephant goes down for you to, and then it uses its paw to lift you onto the back. Like, That's what, what they the do. Fuck? No, they don't. Yeah, they do. They get how, the do they, how do they bend the paw up in the air? They go, you step onto that, and then they lift you up onto no, their back. No, you've never seen that. You're a I've liar. I've seen. Right, get it up. <laughs> yeah, all right, we'll see. If I yeah. can find the video that yeah. where it lifts someone up on their hand, hey, on, on, their the, forearm, the, the on their knuckle, the uh, thing, they go oh, like they, that. They don't, uh, uh, elephant doesn't have knuckles. Uh, no, sorry. Yeah, it goes that way, and it goes, go on, get up there. And what? It, like, it gives you a little. It, 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 get Which on way the, does it go? Because a minute ago it went this way. All right, well, get on the undercuff. <laughs> get on the undercuff. Their, their thing doesn't bend. It bends. It's got like a, 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 flat, a stump. A fist. A stump. It's got uh, yeah, a couple of toenails. With the nails. With the nails. With the nails. What is the point of that shit? I don't know. Why would he allow that? I don't know. The, the don't three know. little deals. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck you. Oh know. my god. Yeah, yeah the nails. <laughs> <laughs> you can't see the yeah, outside. Oh. But I watched the toy show. Does it bend? Oh. Where does it bend? It goes, it bends down. No, 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 down. no, no. Stop doing that. Well, I'm trying this to think. Is a fist. I need to think what it does. Hold on. I'm an elephant. It kneels down and it goes with its little knuckle, like, go on, step on that. And then it goes, go on, get on the back. And then they, they're on the back and then we ride off. I've never seen that before, but we'll see. And that's what these shows are guilty of. Indian man. Indian heritage wedding. Sorry. Yeah, because it, feel, it feels like at this time there's a war going on between men and women. Yeah, it feels yeah. like like men and women and like masculinity seems to be a, a bad thing. Yeah. I don't know if it's masculinity. I think it's like in the past, like it's the same with black people. They've been persecuted in the past. So now it's like women have felt like a bit like hard done by. And now it's like they're trying to make, they're making up for it by going, nah, nah. some women go, oh, man, no, no, men are bad. Men are toxic. Oh, uh, no men. And it's like, all right, calm down. Calm down. There is what do you, men. What do, you, what do you think masculinity is? When you say masculine, what do you think it is? Masculinity, I don't know. It's like, uh, like we saw out there, the honcho. It's so, trying to lead the pack. Trying to lead the pack. Sell your little bean bag. Relax. I, re I read something that said. That we said, don't need to be that, macho. That like, masculinity is what it means to be a man. Yeah. What it means to. Well, I, I'm interested to find out. What do you think it means to be a man? To you, what does it? What does being a man? Because it changes throughout time. Remember that being a man changes. What a man meant eight, in the eighteen hundreds is different to what a man being a man is today. So, what do you think, Peter Ethan Asami? What is being a man? Like being strong, being like, oh, I could lift that if you want me to. Really, that's what it comes down to. Because I know some strong women. No, but yeah, but you'll always find a stronger man than that. Like if you said to me, "Oh, Pete." Um, you're going to have to fight to the death in this one. Mm. You go in the octagon. You're going to have to fight to the death. Mm. But we're going to give you a lineup. I guarantee you I'm picking a woman. Oh, what if you could? To fight to the death. Yeah. I guarantee I'm picking a woman. Because I'm not going to pick a man. Yeah, we can all lie here and sit there and go, yeah, I'd, I'd pick a man and go equal. No, you wouldn't. <laughs> No, to the death. You'd go to the death. You're about, picking about, a woman. I'm like, I'm like, I'm looking, I'm looking. <laughs> yeah. Mary, you're up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a, a small woman as well. Yeah, oh, no, one, well, one Tell me this. Least, if you're, if you're no, in an least experience, With the least experience. Exactly. And, and uh, don't I, tell I, me. I, I, you know what? And people will try to look you down. She's had no fights. So you're going to choose her. 100%. Yeah, 100%. 100%. I'm going to live. And I'm going to be honest. I'll batter her. Because <laughs> I want to live. I'll try to put her in a submission. I'd say, listen, make her tap out. Well, I don't want to kill her, yeah, but I, I will if I have to. Yeah. No, no, you don't have to kill her. You just have to win the fight. But the but person you said, at the you end... Said, you, said, you said it's a death. Well, no, they get killed with a gun. Okay. So I'd be... So, uh, so, so you're basically killing her if you if you win? I'd probably choke her and then hold it and just do her a favour. You know? What, you, you'd kill her? Well, just, don't, don't, just stay in it. Because it's going to be... I think getting shot will be far worse than going <laughs> to sleep like that. Hold on. Yeah. So you would say, yes, I'm going to not let go... But it's time. Well, so so tell me, is that correct? Now people will challenge me, but you tell me, Luke. If you're fight, if you have to go to the death, who are you picking in the lineup? Are you picking John Jones? 
No way. Exactly. No way. There's no way. So come and tell me that I'm wrong for doing that. Okay, but there's some men who wouldn't do that. They'd rather die. And that's a being a man to them. A being a, I'll take, you know what? If I've got to die rather than kill a woman, I'll die. Okay, and then they'll tell you, right, if you're going to act like that, I'll shoot everyone in the lineup. <laughs> What do you mean? Well, because you, you're playing games now. What do you mean? Why are you playing just, games? Just be honest about who no, you're going to no, pick. No, he no, said, he said, he said, I'm not. Right, if you try and play that, everyone gets shot. <laughs> no, you go into the ring. No, no you, you have know, to pick no, someone. No, no, yeah, he will. You choose John Jones. He said, I'd rather die nah. than, than kill him. Okay, them. okay. Now, now, now you die for that. For, for being a smart <laughs> yeah. ass. Yeah, but that's what he said. He said that. I'd rather than kill someone. I'd rather... I rather than kill a weak woman. No, you can't. You can't kill yourself. No, he's not killing himself. No, he's, well, he basically is. He's going up against John Jones. Uh, he's killing himself. Well, John Jones is like, oh, I'll beat you up. But I'm not going to kill you. Yeah, but if he loses, you said if he loses, he dies. He gets shot. Right. The games master is going to be like, right, you're getting, being, you're trying to weave around the rules. No, now. no, no, no. What's happening here is he's made you feel bad about your. <laughs> <laughs> your decision. You have. No, yeah, it makes me bad at your yeah. So now you're trying to shoot him. Okay, for no let, let me put you this. Let me put it to you like this, right? <clears throat> if you're in a situation, you're getting like beat up by like six guys, yeah? Uh, but you have time during the place. You're like, yo, send, send, send back up. Send back up. I'm getting beat up by six guys and they're all stronger than me. Send as much backup as you can. And old PC Jenkins, six foot, six foot, uh, no, uh, four foot two. PC Jenkins, I'm coming, I'm coming. And she's like, got boobs, it's clearly a woman, yeah? Tell me you're not going to be disappointed. Yeah, of course you would. It, why? Because she's, you, you, I'm going to have to, you're, you're more of a hindrance or the help. <laughs> <laughs> Get, stand back, Jenkins! Stand back, Jenkins! You're making, listen, I can't That's defend us both. <laughs> I picked Jenkins up and throw her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great, let me grab your ankles. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what I mean. Yeah. So uh, who's the bad guy? But everyone would be like, no, she's just no, as no, able and... No, 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 no that is uh, true. I, like, like, okay, in my criminal days, if yeah. I, say, say, say I was transporting um, drugs, yeah? Yeah. In my boot. Got a, a boot full of drugs. Police car pulls me over, yeah? PC Jenkins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah PC Jenkins and a partner, um, um, Jonkins. Yeah? Jonkins. PC Jenkins and Jonkins. Tomkins. Yeah, Tomkins. Tomkins. Yeah. Jenkins and Tomkins pull me over. Two yeah. blonde and a brunette pull me over, yeah? yeah? And I, and I don't realize this at first. I'm, I see the blue lights in the back. Yeah, you're like, oh my God. Oh shit. I'm like, fuck, shit. Oh, no. I'm like, and, I, and I, I get out, I get out of my car and I see these two walking towards me. Yeah. I'm like, well, <laughs> you better hope you don't find these drugs. <laughs> because yeah, because yeah. it's your, it's going to be your asses on the line. Because yeah. I'm going to go mad. Because rather than two, six foot two male officers. Because I'm like, that's a fight now. Yeah. Well, well no, I'd probably flirt with them before fighting with them. <laughs> the two men. There's, there's the two <laughs> Are they men? <laughs> Are they men? I just said, rather than the two men, and you're like, I'd flirt with them first. <laughs> All right, well, I, it, it, okay. You'd so flirt with the men? No. It, not if they're men. Oh, you confused me. I thought they were women. <laughs> yeah, I said, rather than the two men. Right. Okay. If they're men, then I'm going to jail, probably. <laughs> yeah, would you try, like, that's what you don't, because you're sure it, it is. If I have to outrun no, a woman. No, the man are trying to outsmart them. Oh. Because a man always tries to use brawn over brain. Not all the time. No, women are smart, man. They are smart. They're clever. They they seem to be more perceptive than men. I've, they see little things because they can't. I, they can't. They been, can't. I've been nicked by a woman before. Yeah, she sees. She sees. She, she, oh, what's that there? I know. And I'm like, uh, I'm no, like, no, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> is, is that my phone? Or yeah, are you yeah, just yeah. happy to see yeah, me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Why do you but, have the American voice? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go on. Women are because they. Men are like, oh, I'm going to show my authority and I want to be seen as the man. A man officer. Do you ever see these men officers? They almost want to show you that they're the boss. That's more important than finding out what's actually happening here. So if they've got a man who's got drugs on him, they'd be like, hey, hey, don't argue, sir. Don't argue, sir. Yeah. Oh, oh sir. What do you mean, sir? What do you mean, sir? They're more concerned about showing you that they're the alpha dog, mm. whereas a female is more concerned about, oh, I'm actually watching what's no, going on. You're off your head. What? You, you think the women want to no, be the you, 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 I've seen women police officers. They're like they're on fucking cocaine sometimes, the way they get on. Because it's like, because they feel inadequate or maybe that they're perceived as inadequate. That's the they go, that's the butch they, ones. They, <laughs> that is the butch ones. Get on go, like that. They go over yeah, I've the seen Okay, I've seen, I'm talking about the petty flu ones. 
the, li- the little ones. One, one, to, one to, the no, little no, no, ones no, have been sent out with no, the group. I, no, I've had a little one. I had a little one. I was sitting outside my house. Yeah, yeah. but was she built? Uh, yeah, she was. She was. She no, was, I'm she, not talking about no, anyone no, no, that's no. built. I'm talking about little fresh out of school. You shouldn't be here. That's like that's you're talking. Okay, I'm talking about a woman, please, obviously. Yeah, the normal ones that you see. Yeah, the normal ones that you see uh, are they, quite. You can get the butch ones. Have, are, you, have, quite you, heavy. Have, have you seen that video when he goes? We he, he mistakes it for her a man for a man. Uh, I'm yeah. a woman. She, she's quite. Pu- she's quite pushy. Yeah, she, she's like bullshy. But sometimes... and they hold that. They look bullshy. Yeah, yeah. But then there's the ones that look petite. How often do you fucking see one of those, Pete? They come out in a gang normally. They're not sent out alone. Yeah, they, and yeah, good yeah. reason. Yeah, for good reason. Yeah, you're damn right. You fucking even the police force know it. Yeah, you, even you, uh, what's her name? What's the head of police called? She's got fired. That woman. Did she? Yeah, I know who you're talking about. What was her name? Dick. She had, she had, Some yeah, smelly yeah, dick. Yeah. <laughs> Officer Dick, Officer, Officer Dick, Dick. Chris yeah. the Dick, Chris the Dick, Chris the Dick, Chris the Dick. Fired. She got, she got fired. Why? Something to do with Boris. It's that thing with Boris or something like that. She oh, she covered up. Yeah, she, is, yeah. Chris she should Dick. have been uh, fired ages ago. That's what I'm saying. You can't. Is that these well, Why? Because they, they didn't want to fire no, her because no, it was a woman. No, no, but you can't write this stuff. What? Most senior police officers' surnames Dick. <laughs> Like you can't, and like she's you can't, a woman. you can't, like some th- coincidences of things are funny. Yeah, man. like her, her name. Wait, wait, is what dick. do you mean, Dick? What do you mean, Carissa the Dick? Yeah, it sounds Caress- like saying Carissa that Dick, <laughs> Carissa that Dick, Carissa that Dick. How, how, how did you get to the top, Carissa the Dick? <laughs> Carissa, the Dick. Yeah, but that's the, it's, who thinks um, I, of know, stuff? I know, I know, I know. Some of the names, Dick. No, I, I think um, everyone outweighs everyone. A man will outweigh a woman. I think. What do you mean? Uh, no, a, a man will outweigh a woman, and a woman will outweigh a man. A man will outweigh a woman. Yeah, and a woman will outweigh a man. I think women are smarter, are more intelligent, and men are naturally stronger. Do you know what I think? I think women are emotionally stronger than men. Yeah, I think oh, men. Are you sure? Yeah, I think I yeah, do. That's why they can commit suicide at a higher rate. I think when a man breaks, he snaps, finish, gone. No coming back. Oh, because he doesn't let out his emotions. Right, and he snaps. And a woman lets out her emotions sometimes too easily. Why, what do you mean? Sometimes you're like, all right, settle down. Stop crying. Oh, you, when, is, when, when panic goes on. And they I, cry. I, 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 saw, I, saw, I saw a granny, a video of a granny, who she mistook like the swimming pool for a floor and she walked into, she walked into the pool. Oh, yeah. Scream. Ah! Ah! Who, who was screaming? Some woman was screaming. Some oh, woman was screaming. Right, and you're like, down. yeah, calm down. Granny's in the pool. Oh, no, you yes. know what I mean? It's like, she's not fucking been swept out the ocean. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, but they yeah. just scream. No, no. So they panic. Yeah. So, so that's what I mean. So, but it's not, that's what I mean. It's not always even. But some situations they deal with better than a man no, would no, deal with. No, but that's, that's a surface level. I think like, even with cheating, I think women handle it far better than men do. Like you hear these stories that like men will, Kill everybody in the house. Some, some, not, not necessarily. One woman cut a man's uh, William Bulls off. What? When, when she found out he cheated, she cut them off with scissors when he was sleeping. How, what, how fucking sharp are those blades? To cut the balls and the fucking dick. I know. Dick. And uh, what did she do to it? She kept it in a bag, I think. And then when the police came, they said, there's, there's cock and balls. Could, do you, are you a heavy sleeper or a light sleeper? Recently, I've become a light sleeper. I'm a light sleeper. You can't even move around me. And thingy, if someone lifted up the covers and it held my balls and cocking it. Yeah, I'm like, you, I'm, no, what no. the fuck are you doing? No, but if, if she tried to pretend, oh, I'm gonna just yeah, we I, I, what, with a hand behind her back like this. No, yeah, she's just... she secretly brought the scissors to bed. Oh, and she, you're like, oh, okay, go on, baby. And then she's like, snip. <laughs> what would you do then? And it's hard, so I more would, blood gets out of there. I would. I'll tell you this before I before I go anywhere, I'm killing her. I wouldn't kill her. Why not? Because if I'm being honest, and I think we can be honest here, Luke, yeah. I think I'd be in shock at that. I, I wouldn't be. I, I'd be like, why did you do that? Uh, you, 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 you'd ask the question, why did I you do that? I can't move because I don't want to ruin anything. I would, your dick and balls are in our hands. <laughs> are you mad? I'd be like, keep it. Don't no, do anything No, no, I'm, kid, I'm I'm telling you this now. Yeah. I've been in this before. I've been attacked, yeah? You've been attacked? Yes, I've been attacked loads of times. By a woman? No, 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 by a woman. All right. But so I meant, she's to try to cut your balls off. But, the but I meant, no, but I meant, and it's like, it, yeah, but it, a man's it, it different. A, a man's different. No, yeah, but are you, it doesn't matter. An attack is an attack. Someone cut your fucking dick and balls off. Yeah, you think I'm standing? You think I'm standing there fucking asking questions? All right, calm. How down. many people does it take to cut a dick and balls? The survey says <laughs> one woman. <laughs> one woman. <laughs> do you know what I mean? What the fuck do you think is going on? I'm gonna attack. 
I don't think you'd be able to do what you <laughs> imagine you run around. Oh, I feel run, more free. Run, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm light. I'm light. <laughs> oh, I can't imagine that, man. I think masculinity also contributes to to men cheating. I think I feel like this is what I'm, that's what I'm interested in you because you don't fit the standard of what I'm, I'm used to being around. What? Like the kind of men. Maybe you go for these macho boys. I don't need to prove I anything. Go for these. Listen, Carl, watch your words because things get clipped up and, <laughs> and stitched, stitched on and the stitched like that, like Luke goes to macho <laughs> boys. <laughs> you do, do though. You, I hang around. Yeah, you hang around with these egotistical fools sometimes. Who do you know that I've hang around with this egotistical fool? You attract them. Let's let let's you know be what, honest. You know what? I don't know who Pete. Sometimes Pete does this face, yeah, where he thinks like he's superior, and he keeps his eyes closed for a long time. <laughs> if you watch him, you're like these these fools. Yeah, but you do, you do. You're easily fooled. I'm easily by fooled. by the alpha males. Who easily fools me? When what situation have I been easily oh, fooled? You in? sound awfully defensive right now. I'm 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 uh, awfully inquisitive right now. Inquisitive. I'm trying to be awfully honest. Okay, we'll just awfully get to the point. Right. Well, awfully shut up and listen to what I've got to say then. I awfully wasn't speaking at that right, point. Right. Oh, you're being very awful. At the minute. <laughs> yeah, I'm not as awful as you. <laughs> Go on. I think because you've got this uh, past and stuff and this attitude, you're like WWE attitude era. Yeah. And I'm like, wow, this guy's like really smart. Like he knows what he's talking about. But Who are we talking about right now? We're talking, talking about me now. So I'm what? I'm WWE. Attitude era. Attitude area. We, what does that mean? You're like, oh, stone, like, oh, I'm like a bad man. Oh, I'm a bad boy. That's how I carry myself. You carry yourself like that. Do I? I'm very friendly. You are friendly, but I, okay. I, I, I read a lot. Hold on. I said how you carry yourself, not what you do. How so, do I carry myself? Go on. You walk walk with a bop. I, I've, I've, I've got a bad leg. Okay. Right. You, well, you need to leg. sort that leg out because that's giving off vibes to people. Roadman vibes. Yeah. Okay, go on. No, when I walk. Yeah, you walk like you've got a fucking bunch of grapes up your own. <laughs> yeah. Fuck because me. I'm giving off Squashing a, wine. Give everyone Fuck the you. false sense of security. Give everyone around you the false sense of security. So, you're, so you're, you do it on purpose? You, walk, you, you, work, you got grapes up your ass on purpose? Uh, are you being honest about the grapes, right? <laughs> Because I, I don't think I do that. Yeah, you do. I you walk, walk like I've got like grapes you, on my you, ass. You walk like you're clenching your ass. Yeah? Yeah. I've got a small ass. Do I actually? <laughs> Fool, like you got to stick up your ass. What do you mean? What do you mean? Do it with your fingers. What do I do? <laughs> I don't fucking walk like that. You walk like this, Luke. Oh, oh, like I got one leg shorter than the other. No, it'd be you. <laughs> <laughs> what well, like, 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 Oh, well, like, uh, someone's trying to shoot. Well, there's a joke about that, about a sniper. Well, like, well, guy with one leg, you're like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Look, go on. You give off a bit of vibes. So I, I think this is how shallow people are, this is how stupid men are. See, women, they don't get fooled by that. They're intimidated by people like that. They're intimidated. No, they're not. By, that's why women are more bitchy. What's it called? Women are intimidated by who? By men like me? No. See, if there's another woman that's more like they feel a bit threatened by another woman, mm. they'll bitch about them. They don't create confrontation. They'll bitch about them. Mm. Men will be like, oh, I'm going to size you up. Oh, okay. I'm going to go horn the horns. Horns will clash. They'll want that. But you've never seen me clash horns with anybody. I don't start trouble. Those days are long no, behind me. No, I know, I know. Well, you're starting trouble with me now because you're not listening to what I'm saying. You don't right, want to start sorry, an I'm, I'm, I'm not understanding what you're saying. Calm down. You've been awfully um, defensive yeah, right now. No, but just have a conversation about it. Okay, all right. It's fine to have the conversation. Okay. I'm not saying anything bad. It's a compliment, if anything. Okay. You're an alpha male, yeah? Okay, go on. Right, I'm not the alpha. All right. I am. Do you get what I did? Do you see what I did? No. You think I'm not the alpha male, right? Because mm. I say I'm not the alpha male. I am. I am an alpha male. In what, in what situation are you the alpha male, Pete? Because I can actually outthink like any man around me at any one time. I can outthink people. How do you? Give me a situation. Where, do, okay. I wouldn't bitch. W w was you... You bitch all the time. You're the bitchiest person I know. To, to you. To you, I do. Yeah, go because on. Because it's nice to have a little bitch once in a while. <laughs> but, like, I can handle myself. Yeah, but you bitch a lot. I loved, I, I, it's fun. So what, why, why did you mention that as a trait then? 
Um, just because it's not... No, you, you, now you're trying to put it on me because I do it to you. But I, it's nice to have a bitch. You have a bitch of Charlotte. Charlotte loves it. Yeah, but she's a woman. Yeah. So what are you talking about? You only bitch the people you're close to. Yeah, right, okay. but So you do bitch? Yeah, but I'm saying if I'm, I'm in a life and death situation... Who bitches in a life and death situation? Oh my god! Look at <laughs> look at the gun he's got. That is so <laughs> that is so stupid and silver. Oh my god! Do you even have enough bullets in that gun? <laughs> Who bitches in a situation with life we, or death? We 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 kind of bitch tonight. We kind of had a little bitch when there was a life and death situation outside. We had a little joke. We wasn't bitching. It was kind of bitching. It wasn't bitching, Pete. You was you was laughing and making uh, jokes. <laughs> Well, we were talking about this on the Patreon episode. No, I, was, we I wasn't about... laughing. You was. I was having no, no, fun. No, not the situation. You were there. You were there. Not the situation, but you was laughing at the circumstances. Yeah, the because around. you were there. So but, it was you like... but you, but you was bitching. Oh, it was kind of a little bit. You weren't. You weren't. You didn't stand up to the guy. He was a dick, mate. But you didn't stand up to him. Nor did you. Where were you when I needed some backup? I was. I was getting out of the bath. Yeah, washing your balls in the bath. Yeah, you were nowhere to be seen. I had to deal with that whole fiasco by myself for twenty no, minutes. No, I, ca I came out there. It wasn't twenty minutes. Yeah, it was twenty minutes. It wasn't. I was on the phone to the bloody paramedic. Yeah, he was. And they called you three times. You didn't answer. <laughs> but listen, anyway, my well, point, back to my point. Worried? Back to my point. Watch this. So, you do, bitch. Right. So, let's so talk about these egotistical males who you're better than. That you attract. Yeah, you attract you're, you're, these no, you're, no, fucking no, egos, no, no, mate. No, no, no you're, you're better than these people. Go I am on. better than them. Go on. Because you do, bitch. So, what, what, what makes you better than them? Well, that is probably one of the reasons I am better because I bitch behind the back about them. That was a minute ago. The reason why you was better because you didn't bitch. No, I'm saying anyone else doing that is weak. I'm doing it in a smart way, yeah? So I use that to get ahead. Now I've planted my seeds. One second. One second. How do you get ahead by bitching? Well, it depends what the situation is. You haven't really given me a situation, so I can't really argue about it. Okay. You, 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 you bitch all the time about comedians who you don't like. <laughs> I don't. Go on. You do. I you don't. bitch all the time. All the time you bitch about him. Well, how does that help you get ahead? It's just fun to have a bitch every now and then. Okay, so let's get down to the nitty gritty of it. You f you do bitch. So why are you better than these egotistical males? You're simplest... not the alpha. I want to know how you're the alpha male. Sorry, that's what this question was. How are you the alpha male? Well, you haven't given me any situation we're in, so I don't know what what's going on here. All right. Okay. Emerg emerges, uh, emergencies happen. Uh, 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 <coughs> so there's this guy giving us evils across the room. Oh, uh, and where are we? In the bar. Right. What happened? How'd you handle it? He comes up, he comes up to you and goes, what the fuck are you looking at? Brown boy. What color is he? Chinese. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not doing it. I'm not gonna make it easy for I'm you. I'm not doing I'm it. I'm not gonna make it easy for you by no. saying a white guy. Oh, is he Chinese? They can't handle it. Is it? No, no, no. Be honest. What would you do? He's Chinese. Huh? Oh yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, no. <laughs> you stupid girl! No. I'll be looking. I'll be sitting on the stool looking at it like, go on, hand it, Alpha Man. <laughs> Alpha Man. Alpha Man. Yeah, go on. I'd be like, oh, what did he say? What are you looking at, brown boy? Uh, all right. Where are you from? <laughs> China. <laughs> I'm from China. You don't sign Chinese. No, fuck off. <laughs> fuck off. You trying to get me? You trying to get me? Oh, 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 you don't sound Chinese. Why are you looking at, brown man? <laughs> now I've won out of me and you. Because they're all going to be like, he's a stupid racist guy. Yeah, I don't but mind. But in the Chinese care. accent. I don't mind. I did, I don't, no. I don't, I don't, I don't See, that's me outsmarting you. You're trying, so you're trying to outsmart me right now. But that's the beauty of the whole thing. Why? I've used my intelligence to get ahead. Get you ahead thought you put me into a but, scenario. But, okay, you now I've beat one, you. One second, you stupid c Right. You're not smart. Oh, than me. get no, a no, bit no. angry yeah, now. Yeah, 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 the yeah, road man's yeah, yeah, gonna come yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, I'll tell you why. Go. Because if they take me down, you're coming down with me, you stupid c <laughs> <laughs> You think you smarted at me? My brother, you're like, yes, send Luke down. <laughs> oh, f Oh, fuck. where's PC no. Jenkins? Yeah, no, 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 we're sorry, we're sorry. <laughs> yeah, you stupid idiot. Oh, shut up, Luke. No, go on. You're in the bar. What do you do? I'm in the bar. You have to do. What do you do? He's like, right. I said, where are you from? Why? Why that matter? <laughs> He's still <laughs> doing it. Why does that matter? 
Calm down. Being rude. No, I'm asking you, what are you looking at, brown boy? Are you talking to me or Luke? Are you with me? I ain't me? talking to that handsome big fella over there. I'm talking <laughs> to you. Uh, typical. Can I tell you something? Go on. What's your name? <laughs> Fuson. <laughs> Fuson. Right. See, I knew this would happen. Right? Go on. You've come over to me and you see this happens to everywhere I go. See if I'm in a gym. Now, why are you so angry? Can I ask why you're angry? Because you're staring at me. No, I wasn't looking at you. You was. I wasn't. I was looking out the window. No, you was looking at me. No, no. I, I could see you clearly. Where? In my face. What do you mean? I'm look, you looking at me. I'm looking outside. You, I, wasn't I could see you. You say Fusan can't see? No, I didn't say Fusan can't see. But Fusan, you need to understand that you're you're just looking for trouble here. I'm, I'm not looking for any trouble. I don't want any trouble. So what's the problem? Why are you staring at Fusan? Uh, Fusan? You want a drink? No, Fusan. Fusan, you want a uh, drink? Yeah, I do. Get me a drink. All right. We'll have a drink together then. Okay. Now that's a good bit of mail. That's good. That's right. That's good. You know your position. Thank you. Fusan, drink his drink. I'll go now. Fusan, finish this drink. Don't talk to me anymore. Don't talk to me anymore. Fusan, I don't want to speak to you anymore. You bought me a drink. You show your position. But Fusan, want a drink? I've already had my drink. Thank you. Get out of my sight now. The one I bought you? Y yeah. Yeah. Uh, I rubbed my finger up my ass and put it in your drink. <laughs> Enjoy it, no, Fusan. You no, no, yeah, you did. Now, no, you, what are you, you going to do? No, you go didn't. and call Luke. One second. You, yeah. you put your finger in your own bum. Yeah, and put it in your drink. Now, what are you going to do? Would you do that? I'd fucking do that if Fusan was calling me <laughs> one out. Second, one second, one second. So, one second, so, one second. Yeah. If you got a problem with someone, you'd put your finger in your own arse. Hold on a second. One if you're going to start trouble with me from across the bar and I haven't started trouble, you're tasting my ass. One second. <laughs> one second. Would you insert your finger into your own bum to get your back on someone? To get some back on someone? I'd get the nail in there and rip it around the rim of the glass and I'd watch him as he drunk it. See you later, Fusan. You know what? You probably are right. You probably are the better man here because a man who needs to go to that level, I can't compete. As long with that. as I want up. If I want up you, buddy. But if you're going to try and use strength and try and battle me, I'm going to win the battle of the asses at least. See, that's what I mean. That's what I mean. You can't, you can't lose that. You can't lose that battle if I'm inside. You. <sighs> yeah. You can't lose that battle if I'm inside. You. Masculinity is defined by, I think. Everyone, that's ego. That's ego, though. Because, because no, no. I, mem I remember this guy on a, on a on a show. He's called Dame Dash. Yeah, he used to be mm. he used to work with Jay Z, and he was telling people what a man is. You're not a man. You're not men because they don't have their own businesses. Then you're not men. Yeah. And I remember thinking, you can't define another man. Can't define to me what a man is. You're the same position as me. You don't tell me what a man is. I, I tell you what a man is. Yeah, and you tell me what a man is. And then we just decide what, what men everyone are. has the opinion oh, of men. Of what Every, men is. Uh, like, just like women have their opinion of men and men have their opinion of men, women can have their opinion of women as well. So everyone has an opinion of everyone, right? Yeah, what, of what it is. What it of is. what they are. Of, or, yeah, of, or of the what, different of what, groups. And I, think, and I think that's what a lot of problems stems from is when we try and fit into these models of what we think masculinity is. You should be. Yeah. But and that's I, why I, think, I don't give I, a I shit. Think, I think that's what has affected me throughout my life that... I grew up around these ego testicles, but you don't, you aren't like that all the time. It's only in when we're outside with me. You're not like that. What do you mean? How am I when I'm outside? How am I when I'm outside? Explain to me how I am when I'm outside. Uh, borders are up. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, walls? Uh, borders are up. Uh, to get into that country, I need a passport. Yeah. What country are we talking about? Me? You're probably like, Cold. I'm very cold outside, aren't I? Yeah, you're probably a bit like France. Like, you need a passport to get in and out. Uh, I love your analogies because they don't make no fucking sense. Go on. But you let everyone leave the house and stuff. Like, you let your kids go out. So you're like, okay, go on. You can go away. Which is what they do as well. What are you talking about right now? Like, you said what country you're like. I never said what country am I like. What did you say? I said what... Describe to me what I'm like. Like, what? how am I when I'm outside? How am I? You said I'm different when I'm outside. How am I? I, I thought said, you said, what country am I? I know it's not country. Oh, okay. Forget that. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> go What's on. in that coffee? <laughs> yeah, go on. <laughs> it be like my ass. <laughs> yeah, go on. What? Go on. What, am I, what am I like when I'm outside? You said I'm different when I'm not with you. When the I'm barriers are up. You're, you're, uh, not scared. 
No, I do think it stems from fear. You're like on edge, man. Sometimes it makes me uncomfortable because I'm like, if it kicks off, am I going to have to jump in? When have, you, when have you ever felt something's going to kick off? Because you give off that, f you attract attention. Do I? Yeah, you can't fucking slide into the background like me. Hold on a second. I'm unaware of this. So when I'm walking down the street, do, do people look at me like they want to fight me? They look at you. And it's normally men. And they're probably sizing you up. Really? They don't look at me. That annoys me. <laughs> that annoys you? Yeah, because they don't look at me. Look at me. I'm here. You want that, you want that kind of attention. I don't want no, that attention. No, I don't want that attention. You just said you want... You just look at me. Uh, I noticed that attention. But I don't want it. You just said look at me. I'm here. Well, at least show that you're aware that I'm there. Like, so you want acknowledge me. You want the attention? Uh... I'm not saying I'd seek it. I just notice when I don't get it, right? And I know all, I notice all the Tom Fools out there, the Tom Fooleries out there that give you that attention because of uh, who you are and how you look, and it's pathetic, man. What attention are we talking about? What are the intentions? Talking you about think? like attention that you get, and it's like, oh, get over it, man. What do you mean? What kind? Is this negative attention or positive? No, it's attention? positive attention. It's like, oh, fucking get off his dick, mate. Do you know what I mean? Sometimes people need to just get a grip and fucking get to know someone. People can't do that. That's a problem. And uh, I notice it when it goes on. And I notice it when it doesn't go on. And this is why people are shallow. And I find it pathetic, really. And that's why I don't have many friends now. Why are you laughing? Because the way you're rambling on is like someone's really touched. Yeah, it's just I notice this. <laughs> and these people just don't notice they me are, there. They're pathetic. And they're, they're pathetic, just, just so. they should get to know someone's inside. Okay, who I am and no, who no, I am. I'm not necessarily saying me, but I'm saying... Before making that jump to attention, have a little fucking look at your surroundings. You little. All right. Do you know what? We got some. We got some <laughs> questions. We want to our questions. We want the questions. What you got them? You got the question. Do I? Yeah. Okay. Hold on. So we had a message come in from one of our listeners. Um, I'm kind of in a predicament. I've been with my girlfriend for five to six years. I'm your age. Me and you look, yeah. I have no kids or a house and she wants to get married and have a child. I work full time, but I'm really concerned about the finances behind it all. We're trying to buy a house too. We have a deposit from the passing of her mother, but I'm still very scared if I'm honest. Feel free to speak about this. Any guidance will be welcomed. P.S. should be a great dad. Thanks, man. Oh, fuck you. I'm a dad already. You didn't say shit to me. Uh, they know you're a great dad, though. <laughs> well, you know, the main security. Then. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Showing your insecurities yeah. there. All right. Um, go on, what do you want to say, Pip? Go on, go on, say, say, say. No. Um, all right. Having a kid is financially burdensome. Yeah, it is. Why it is would a you burden. say that when I'm going to have one? You, I'm telling the truth. Yeah, I know, but I don't want to hear that. Yeah, well, you got to hear the truth, man. It is It is a financial burden. Yeah. How much but, of a burden? So how much like you spend, you spend a normal, like when you don't have kids and then how much do you spend when you got one kid? Do you, no, do you, I'm going to be honest with you, yeah. Um, my life has been completely transformed due to my kids. For better or for worse? Um, it is for better in the long run. Like I, I, I preach, but I, the way, like I haven't traveled. My kids have traveled more than me because I've sent them to places. They've traveled more than me. And um, I, how do I explain this? The way, the way I set up, my, I never ever spent on big per things that I could have paid for because I always wanted to extend. Because, all right, I chased my dream of, of comedy. Like, calm down. You're getting very flustered. <laughs> yeah, all right. What is going on? I, ch I chased my dream of comedy, yeah? Late in life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, we're on 30, yeah? So, no, so, yeah. So, yeah. so I chased my dream. So I had to realise, I had to, but I had responsibilities. Mm-hmm. So it doesn't mean because I'm chasing my dream, I can slack on my responsibility. So all the money I had saved, I had to distribute equally over a long period of time because obviously it takes time for things to pay off. Yeah. Yeah. So I had to lower my standard of living right down, right down in order to extend the amount of time I could not have a normal job so I could pursue my dreams and still look after my kids. So these, these are the things that you... You have to make sacrifices, mm. right? That's what I say parenting is all about, sacrifices. Now, 
You've got a deposit from your partner's mum dying, yeah? Which is a bad thing. But it also, like, good Silver that she money. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, so. But okay. it must have been young. Why? My parents aren't that old. Your mum's not that old. Okay, people's, you don't, you could have been a kid by a bus. No, yeah, that's what I'm saying that. Like, it's young, it's quite sad. She could be old. How? Who, the mum? They're our age. Yeah? So what does that mean? Well, why would the parents be old then? Some people have picked kids late in life. Oh, yeah, no, I didn't think about that. Not that late. Ten years, maybe? What's ten years? Ten years later than us? No. Well, me, me and you've got fucking 17 years between us having kids. 18 by the time your kid gets here. There's 18 years difference between my, my eldest and your, your kid. Will be 18 years. So some, some people have kids at 45. Like my cousin's mum's 45. But okay, so you, you had him. You, did you want kids then? Hmm. I did want kids eventually. Yeah, but you had them young. Do you know what? When I first had kids, my attitude was terrible. I thought I was going to have loads of different kids, different baby mothers and all of that. And I thought, because I had a very, I'm saying my influences. Yeah, yeah. But okay, you had a kid. Mm. And then, <clears throat> were you happy with that decision? What do you mean, was I happy with it? Were you like, yeah, this is it. I want to start a family now. No. But then you had two more kids. Yeah. With the same woman. Yeah. Why? How? Yeah. I like to fucking know how as well. <laughs> I like to fuck you know how as well. That's what I said. That's what I said. What how the, the f are we falling into position again? What? You told me it's on the pill. Ah, uh, did she? Did she? All title three. Yeah. Ah, oh, so honey trap. No, the honey trap's when you get murdered. Oh, sorry about that. What well, I did. She honey trapped my bank balance. <laughs> no. But, but my yeah. point is, mate. My point is, this, listen to this. But that's what I mean. You had three kids with no money, and they seem like no, they're... no. I had money. I had money. All right. I had money, but then when I started, when I left the road, my money, my income stopped, and I had to, and yeah. my savings then started because if you ain't got nothing coming in, it's going down. Mm. You know what I mean? So this is my point. But you have to take risks, and you ha or you never move up in life. Like I've got a cousin who just doesn't seem to be wanting to move vertically in life. He seems very comfortable with everything, like plays computer but games. Some people are like that; they're happy with their life. Why do you want to force your bloody opinions on them? That's what you do feel like that when they say like they want to play computer games. I know, games. I know. But I, then I it's like... But then I think it's not my life. But, then it, but he's a parent. <clears throat> oh. He's a parent, yeah. Oh, and he, he? And he, you know you don't know, you know, you know, want a parent... No, you know, like this my dad. Yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, oh, oh great. Nice. No, this is, you're like, and he's like, and he's like, and the kid, the kid comes around picks up the control. Hey, don't touch the control. <laughs> I'm, I'm in a special place. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and you're like, that should be yeah. the kid playing the computer games. No, no. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like, like yeah. let the kid play the games. Yeah, or the, the, the dad that you're a bit embarrassed about when you bring your mates around. You're like, oh, yes, yeah, sorry, he know, he know, dad. He knows too much about your games that you're playing. He knows yeah. too much about the yeah. game. So where are you on World of Warcraft at the moment? Oh, yeah. what level are you on? Oh, you yeah. haven't got the diamond gems yet, though? No? And you're like, yeah. fuck, take it easy, dad. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But my point is, you've got to, you've got to take risks. Yeah, nothing is ever going to be guaranteed. Yeah, so what you do is you hedge your bets. What is the worst case scenario? What is the worst that's going to happen? If you go for this house and you have a kid, what's the worst? You're working full time. Yeah, what are you gonna, what's going to what's going to what's going to happen? I you're not going to starve to death in the Western civilization, you know? Are you? Well, you never know. People panic, man. This is the thing I've got, bro. Right, I um. Me, me and Charlotte got, um, cause I've always wanted kids, but I am currently in a position where I'm like, probably making the least amount of money I've ever made in my life, but I'm the most confident to be able to raise a child. You're not in the worst position you've been in your life, but you get once watching wrestling DVDs paid for by the country. <laughs> Let's so, not bring that up again. This, 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 uh, from that moment on. Okay. So since you've been working. Since I've been working, this is probably the, the worst position. Yeah. Yeah. But, um. It's always darkest before the dawn. But you got to think about this, Bud, right? When you... Who's Bud? Because I can't say his name. Oh, okay. So, bro, when you come to the last third of your life, 
Who's going to look after you? Because I don't want to be roaming the streets of, like you see some of these old people that like their partner dies and they're sa- they don't have kids. And you're like, oh, that's depressing. And they've not even got like a young person to come and look after them or anything like that. Like I'm sort of thinking, well, I need my unit. I want my unit around me. Like I want my family unit. Mm. So if something happens to me, I'll be looked after. And if something happens to them, I'll look after. So are you, are you basically having kids for insurance purposes? Um, That's a nice thing that comes with having a kid. I've always wanted a kid. But, and me and Charlotte, we never thought, we, we've always, you always survive within your means. Don't you? You always learn to live within your means. Some people never do. Well, you do, because we're still here and we're not dead. Mm. So you always learn to live within your means, within your means. And what, a couple of nappies? A baby needs a nappy and some titty milk. Do you know what I mean? What are you talking about right now? Like, it's not that big an expense, I don't think. Are you stupid? Is that, that lasts for fucking nine months, a year, maybe. That's then what I mean, then... that's a year. And then you're, you're out of the fucking dragon's den with the nappies. Yeah. What the fuck are you talking about? It gets worse than that. That's the easy part. Well, what's the... Then they start asking for trips to France yeah. and on a school trip. I'll say no. And, and school uniforms. Uh, okay. But, okay. And new, sh- new, the new bag and the way they treat their shoes. My daughter, you've had shoes for two months. Two months and, you ki- um, and she's a girl. She's the girl. Yeah, but- the boys, the, it's, sometimes you look at their things. You look at their, the stuff they have. And it's like, sometimes I really do think, have you cut this up with your, have you done this on purpose? What? Like the things that they, they come on with holes in their shoes and I'm like, you've had those a couple of, like, what are you doing? Are we playing football, dad? No, I, I, new, I tell my kid, uh, you're not playing sport. You're not playing You're going to be a sport. chess child. You, you, can you play chess? Uh, Charlotte's brother can. So I'll be like, go and play chess with your uncle Ed. All right, listen to this, yeah. You have to allow, yeah, you have to allow your kids the freedom. Within our means. Yeah, you have to okay. allow your kids freedom. But I'm saying live within our means if I'm really struggling. No, you are a chess child. No, no, Go no. and play with your fucking cobbles in the no, corner. No, no, no. You're you not going to play in the no, street. Got, that's not a good dad. I haven't got the money if I haven't got the money to do it. <laughs> Hold on one second. Then you have to go out there and make the money. I'm or I'll talk, probably I'm ask I'm you I'm if I'm you I'm can I'm have I'm your kids' old clothes. I'm a, I'm a, <laughs> yeah, with the holes in it. Yeah, I don't care. No, no, give no, them more no, the holes no. in it because I'm struggling. You have to rise. rise you, that's what I'm saying, man. You can't just be like, you've got no money. You've got to find a way to, to get the things that they need. There's certain necessities, like the trips they go away on. They need those, man. It's educational. Yeah, no, I, I, I will send it away. But I'll, I'll, I'll be like, go and ask your godfather. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I know, I know. And I do feel like I have a responsibility. That's my you first single godchild. Yeah, I, no, will, I will take I will take a responsibility. 100%. In that. And, I'll, and, I'll, and, I'll, and if you really get up to talk, you say, oh, your godfather. I'll, 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 I'll come right back round with him. No, 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 no. This is your responsibility. And you're going to pay it. And no. you're going to pay it. I'll take out a company account. <laughs> You are. <laughs> if they can fucking dig their pockets and make it happen. <laughs> but no, but this is this is what I'm saying, man. You can't... Having a child is a, fi- a financial bird. It's the biggest bird that I've ever had. Yeah, but it's also the best gift you can ever have. Yeah, being a parent. And, and I would say that if you ever want to be a parent, now is probably the time to start, man. Yeah. It's our age. They're yeah. our age. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, yeah, if yeah, you yeah, do want you kids... Look- don't yeah. wait around because I guarantee your missus is getting older as well. So yeah, man, having a kid is going to be one of the biggest financial strains you have in your life, man. And so you have to think about it carefully. But it seems like you're set up. You got a full time job. Seems like you're in steady employment, but no employment is gonna can be like a hundred percent. So it's never going to be a right time. But he's obviously nervous. There is no yeah, and and rightly so because means you're going to be a good dad. You're nervous. It's the ones who ain't nervous who are terrible fucking dads because they don't give a fuck. They only care about themselves. You care about. That's a very big character assassination, yeah, Luke. Yeah, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You sound like you're going to be a good dad. You're nervous. That's right. That's the right attitude to have because you're thinking about can you support your child? Cause yeah. Because I'm, I'm thinking of all those things you what? just said. <laughs> well, you don't care. You don't care. Ah, uh, well, Charlotte's here. Charlotte's no, gonna be. Here. But you know what I mean. What? I'm quite excited. I'm excited to be it. Like you know, I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> so when you said, I'm like, <laughs> uh, uh, well, uh, right. Are you, like, no, are you nervous? Not really. <laughs> and that's why I'm a bit like, why am I not nervous? 
but I'm just excited to meet the little bastard. Yeah, I think I think you're a child in it in in yourself. I just want to pick it up and play with it. Yeah. Okay. You're you're a child. <laughs> you're a child. And then put on a fake tit. You're a child yourself. That's yeah. what you're looking at the fun times. I think Charlotte's the more responsible. Yeah, one. I could like she'd do all the school stuff. Yeah. You know. Yeah, I can imagine you when she tells you, "Yeah, we need some more school." What? <laughs> He's had those for three years. <laughs> What is that? Well, you be trying, you be trying to buy, you be trying to buy, um, you, know, you, be, you try to buy big school trousers. No. You can take, you can take. No, it'll be like, like these are the you, you fit into mine. <laughs> you take him in a bit. Take him in a bit. My kid is definitely going to be that one. You know that one in school, like always had the same clothes every year. <laughs> Sweet, you can't do that to him. Why? You can't. Do I know it you to can't him. be that kid, can he? No, you can't. Because it make it, it may, also these are the things that set him up for life. Like how he's tr how they get on in school. Could be determined how they are socially for the rest of their life. Yeah, I know, and I don't want them to be like but that. Without cost. Because you know once I mean? you're like known as that in school, you, you it's, yeah. it carries to the end of school. Yeah, it does. It really does. And yeah. it, like, kids are kids are Cruel. ruthless. Yeah. They are, man. I remember, I remember kids called, called Stink Bomb. Yeah, it's Stink Bomb. Yeah. Smelly Pe Smelly Kelly, we had yeah. in our school. Oh, really? He pissed himself really? in like first year, had an accident, just drunk too much water one day. He was a bit dehydrated, drunk too much water. Tell the name. Tell the name to sick form. Tell the name all the way through sick form. Do you know Smell Kelly. Really? Great. Really? Yeah. He pissed I felt himself. so bad for the guy. Was it? Did he say the piss? Smell the piss? He pissed no. on the smell straight away. No, he, he pissed himself in year seven. Everyone's oh. first day, he pissed himself. On oh, the first day? It's, he's dehydrated. Fuck dehydrated. Me. Dehydrated. Fuck me. I wonder where he's at now. Smelly yeah. Kelly, if you're out there listening, uh, let no, us know how your life He worked in tele sales. He did quite well for Kelly worked in tele But he's a nice Smelly guy. Smelly Kelly <laughs> worked in sales and telly. <laughs> Fuck, you know. Fuck me. If, he, if anybody out there knows him, let us know. Fuck her. They're going to go to one. They're going to work with him. You right, Smelly Kelly? <laughs> but I felt tell. bad for him because the name carried was actually a really nice dude. Why can carry on to his workplace? <laughs> Smelly <laughs> Kelly worked in telly. No, thank God. Oh. Thank God it didn't carry. But that's what I mean. Kids are hard. And the name just sticks. Sticks to you like glue. You can't, you can't fuck around in school like that. No, you can't. That's what I'm saying. You'll always be known I as mean, that guy. I, mean, get, I remember my mum. My mum used to fucking always not um, piss herself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking hell, they're smelly as <laughs> well. Fucking hell. Smelly no, my mum never used to fucking um, dry my jumper properly. Oh, so it smelled it, like the piss smell. Oh, the the, the arse stink. The, 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 the arse soup. The, the, the dumb ass. And, 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 and it's, the, it's, the, it's the one that whiffs. And you, you're not quite, you're not sure. You're not sure what's going on. You, when you smell it directly, you can't smell it. No, no. But you put your nose when, on when it. they walk past, you're like, yeah, no, no, yeah, no, it's no, him. No, no, you smell it on yourself, yeah. but you're not sure. And you put your nose right there. You can't smell it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I remember that happened to me one time. I went to a club. I went to a club. Uh, and, it gets and, worse when you sweat. And my mate, my, you wake my, up the smells. My mate, my mate said, you left your clothes on the radio, yeah, didn't you? You, left your clothes on the, you know what they say to you? Like, oh, you're like, oh, for fuck's sake. But, and you can't think of nothing else after that. No, you can't you, think of nothing no, else. No, no, you're like, you try to chill with your juice. <laughs> yeah, I know. But you try and, yeah, I try and sometimes uh, like go to the gun toilet, like get the aftershave because you spray it on mm. everywhere. Because uh, that, that smell is disgusting. Try to overpower it. But this is what I'm talking about. You, So much of, like I see it in my son, so much of his outer persona is attributed to like his attire, his fashion, his image. So external, his he's image. so obsessed with his image, but yeah. that, that's young people. But that's what I'm saying. But you're going to send him into school with fucking hand me downs from his dad. <laughs> <laughs> hand me downs from his dad. Ah. Well, you, can, you can't oh, do no, that. You hell. can't do that. You know what I mean? That's your but responsibility. It saves money though. I, but you can't. At least I can pay okay, to go not, to university no, when no, you're no, older. No, it's not. Get it's away not, from these other classmates. <laughs> <laughs> But it's not you go okay. To, go to Union Swansea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's not. It's not. Yeah, but it's the social stigma is still going to be with him. How he was treated. Well, I'll tell. Oh, I don't know. Well, I'll. T we'll work it out together. Yeah. Agreed. Oh, me and you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we had some, but this is because I saying. can't be dealing with all that. But this is what I'm saying. You, you can't. I'm not going to allow for yeah. you to do that. That's not going to be possible. You, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not trying to say he has no, to have no, no, no. name brand, everything. Like, no, I know, like I know. That. But you have to get him stuff with a decent, you know, decent enough mm. so he can survive. Yeah. Get through uh, school. Get, get, get through life. Yeah. Yeah. But that's it. Because people are judgmental. No, 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 no. Cause that's your responsibility. You can't say to him, I've got yeah, no look, money. I've never done it before, Luke. I'm just saying to you, but that is your responsibility as a parent to buy him enough stuff yeah. So that he can, like, he needs a pencil case. Like, some people come in, they haven't got the right equipment. Charlotte's got like loads of pencil cases. Yeah, uh, but you're not going to send him to school. He wants his own pencil case. 
You're not just going to hand me down and think that you, you and Charlotte don't, don't want anymore. <laughs> All right, now these underwears, your mum's been wearing them for a while, but they're fucking fine. No, they're right. no, no, you know no, what I mean? I wouldn't do that. No. But pencil case. That's not that bad. It'll be like, you know, the little Oxford no, but, one, no, the tin no. one. No, but some people, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can shake it around. You can shake <laughs> yeah, it around. Yeah. But that's something important, their own, their own thing. No, not, no. It's not about spoiling them either. Spoiling them is just as bad. Spoiling them yeah. is just as bad. You don't want to get them everything and then have to work with anything. Like, every yeah. time my kids want money, they always come to me. They know what to come to me with. They say to me, how can I earn money, dad? They come to me like that. How yeah, you need money? to teach me how to do that. Yeah. And I'll make them earn it. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's that's what we do. But as like I said, nothing's going to be guaranteed. Okay, it's not going to be guaranteed. So just try. And, and, and I know because I I'm in that position, man. I'm in the position where I'm like, you can go anyway. Yeah, I don't know what's going to happen. on you lot. Like, I, yeah, <laughs> but I don't know what's going to happen. So don't don't be scared. Like, embrace it. That's yeah. why I say. Yeah, embrace it. Embrace it. Embrace it. And Enjoy you, you, it, man. You're with your girl for a reason. Yeah, she's so not support, stupid. Support each other. Support each other. You you can get through it. And if she wants kids, you have to seriously consider that because otherwise you're wasting her time. Yeah, it is true. Because you is. don't want to waste the girl's time and then... She can't come, have kids. She can't have kids and you break up with her or something like that happens and it's like... Because men can have kids when they're 70, 80 years yeah, old. Yeah, and a woman can't. They're on oh, a biological clock. If I had, if I had a choice, I'd choose that now. What, to have kids when you're 70? Yeah, but you they, um, they, you, they'd be going to your funeral at their 15th birthday. Or 20th birthday. That's sad for the kid. That's traumatizing. I don't know what I would have done if my one of my parents had died when I was young. I'd, I've, I'd, I'd, I've had a girlfriend whose mom died when she was young and it was tough, man. It was really tough. Has an has a massive effect on you. Really? Yeah, massive emotional effect on you. It's bad, man. It's not. I don't wish it on anyone. It's horrible. Yeah. So I don't think you should have kids old. That's probably why me and Charlotte had them now, because it's kind of like, okay, if I have them now, then when they're five or six, they can kind of look after themselves, and I'll be Wait, kids, you, you've got this idea in your head. Well, they're not going to be, I don't need to wipe the shit out of their ass, do I? Okay, let me tell you this, yeah? Yeah. The things that you're thinking you're worried about is the least of your worries. Well, I don't know what to worry about. That's what I'm saying. Okay, this is what you've got to worry about. But it's about. happened now. You've got to raise the kid, an individual yeah. into adulthood. And to navigate society, that's what you. That's your aim. Wiping the shit out of their ass is the, the least. No, I, I, I know. It's but trying to get them to be able to judge the world. That's what. That's what my. That's what I see my job as. Yeah, is to learn as much as I can about this world, and then give them the wisdom. All right, so well, I don't can... know what to do though. I don't. I'm, I, obviously, I don't know what to do. Yeah. But I'm willing to like listen to to you, and I'll ask probably a lot of questions. Yeah. Because if it is like starting to be a bit like, what do I do when it's doing that? Like being a bit like, oh. Yeah, it, it is, man. It is. Do you know what it is? And, and the worst part about it is you never know if you're making the right choice. Yeah, I know. That is what is bad about being a parent. You, you, well, so I don't know. You, 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 look at, you look at a child and you, it is, uh, so I make it sound negative. There is no, nice. no you, you, but you do that. You look at, you build, you give the honest perception. Yeah. I think that's the best thing to do to him. Is to give him the honest. Yeah, yeah. Then his wife, his girlfriend's gonna message us. Yeah, sorry. Can can you help me answer this question, please? Uh, my partner was nearly gonna have kids with me. Then he messaged these two pricks, and then they said they talked him out of it. Can you tell me what I should do. <laughs> no, sorry. no, no. But to be honest, I think he should have kids. I think he should. They they sound a lot more stable than fucking other people having kids. Yeah, I could they imagine. sound extremely you know stable. Still, I could imagine Pete. I think he should have kids. And he messaged us, please, guys, help me. Um, I'm running out of money. I'm going to be homeless. I'm going to be homeless. I need 3,000 pounds. Pete were like, delete. <laughs> no, yeah, I'd be like, Pete, why did you message? I don't know. That was wrong. I don't know. That could be fake. Sounds fake to me. No, no, no. Uh, no. no did you, if, if I ever had money, I would help people out. If it, if it was if it was risk, it there is no risk-free option. But I think a lot of people place money it's like we're not trying to find the safest way to our grave yeah remember that we're not trying to find the most easiest route you want to have an adventure and that means ups and downs ah that's another reason why i had kids it's someone to experience your life with mm. another person in the family yeah do you you go through these experiences in life and then maybe one day we can show them oh this is what i did this is what your mom did when we were younger and you know yeah like we're not here and for they, no and, reason, and, and they have and they have personalities, and then they do one eventually one day, hopefully, if raised correctly, 
become contributing factors to your family. That's why people used to have kids back in the day. To they make used to have money. kids to in order to help around the house. Yeah, yeah. Well, I wouldn't. Well, and that's the farm kind, and the farm. Kind of why why I had one was like, um, oh, I, I want to like see if I can make a little, you know, uh, I don't know, like professional genius or something. Do you know what I mean? Like, so, like we focus you on that every day. Mm. Like nice. maybe darts every day. Mm. You go and do darts for two hours. Hundred and eighty. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, probably. What you choose the weirdest sports? I, I don't know. Like, yeah, because you want something that's not going to be a lot of competition. <laughs> yeah, enough. We're going to have to buy equipment for. <laughs> Here's your darts, buddy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Where's it? What? Your darts? Yeah, darts yeah, yeah. are easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's the board. I don't hit the fucking wall. Oh, he's bloody broke the flights. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know the little fly bit oh, on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're only about six quid to replace, so. Yeah, but yeah, for me. Not football boots, though, are they? No, I see. Do you remember Predators? Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> did, did you play football? Not. I did have. I did get a pair, but I was, my mum got me a pair, but yeah. I never really played football. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, let's save as me. But that's the sad thing about football. It's so competitive that everyone loves to play it, and there's so many different factors that come into it. I never really had an interest in it. I never really had an interest in the sport apart from boxing. Apart, like, and that was outside of school. Just I enjoyed playing practice. football and then I got into boxing after I left school. Mm. But I really enjoyed playing football. I was crap at it. But I just, I have a passion. I, I get passionate. That's an expensive sport for buying equipment for. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't advise boxing because of the gloves and the, and the Gloves are like 80 odd quid. Yeah. And then the shorts. You get a nice pair, it's worth it. Yeah. And the shorts and the, 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 and the boots. 200 quid and things like that, man. Really? Something stupid like that. It's crazy, man. But listen, man, like I said, no no risk free. But guys, let's wrap it up now. Um, yeah, let's wrap we, it up. We, we, we love We've you. We've had a long night tonight. Um, yeah. And with we, that and, fiasco outside. And we thank you all for supporting us and being on us with this journey. <laughs> if you have any suggestions for us, always let us know. We've officially made it past the first year now. Yeah, we, we're in, we're in, we're in to the second year. The second trimester. Yeah. That sounds like a pregnancy. It is. Oh, is it? Yeah. How many no, trimesters are there? I think three. Uh, the try three in it. Is that the fourth trimester? Okay, maybe not then. I don't know. Okay, but anyway, and guys, if you want to sign up, check out our Patreon to support us. We appreciate. It. We've got some good benefits on there. Yeah, guys, sign up to the Patreon. If these uh, Patreonians are loving it. You're missing out. And if you if you want to send us in a dilemma or a message, sorry, we, we, we talk so much at the beginning, we don't get through with dilemmas. We've got a, a backlog of dilemmas. We're going to get through them. Yeah, and we're also accepting video submissions, so don't be shy. Yeah, send it on WhatsApp and you can actually be on the show. Yeah, and yeah. a lot of you are like, oh, get me on as a guest. Send in a video for starters. Yeah, show some Let's personality. See, show some personality and stop fucking begging your way to the top. Yeah. Send in a video and we'll consider it. Yeah, or Chris of the dick. <laughs> Caressing that dick. All right, guys. All right, guys. It's been Luke and Pete. Talking sheep. Take care. See you later. <laughs>